Yar, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pixel Pirate with me, your host, Captain Ripped Rick. Today, we will be heading back over to the town in order to check the blacksmith's house or the, the blacksmith uh, building uh, because there could be some valuables in there, I was told by one of our viewers. Um, and we will be constructing the Tinker's Construct Forge slash Smeltery. Uh, but we'll, let, we'll go ahead and let these bricks cook. And what we'll do is, in case we run into some unfortunate, um, an unfortunate situation, we will save all of this stuff so that we don't lose all that. And we'll also save all these buckets. Uh, we don't really need them all. I keep one bar bucket because that's how I like to travel, just to be safe. And we're going to go out and we're going to head over to the city. Um, I was, I was suggested to actually create, uh, or not create, add the, a minimap mod, and I really am considering that, because, uh, I think it'll help us get around, I'm, the only thing I'm worried about is it giving away too much, uh, yeah, it giving away too much of the area, um, I'm, I, I, like, I, right now, I'm really hoping that the town is this way, or, I believe it's just over here. But I could be 100% wrong. No, because wait, the slime island is over there. And that means the town should be this way. Just over here. Because this is the way it was, I believe. Oh, I might be 100% wrong and I might have run the wrong way. If so, I'll cut, I'll cut the rest of this out. Okay, so I was 100% wrong. Um, it's, it's a very cool peak though. It's a very, very cool peak. I'm not going to lie. I'm glad we, we went over here because at least we experienced something. I'm just trying to justify us running all the way over here. Okay, so we're going to actually head to the town. Uh, and I'll cut I'll cut to it when we get over there. I'm sorry about that. And and by the way, this totally confirms uh, we will be getting a Minimap mod um, installed for you guys. So that I don't do this again. Jeez. Okay, and here is the city right in, in the distance here. Um Let's go ahead and try to find the blacksmith's place. I was told there was one. Uh, there may not be, but we'll go ahead and check anyway. And I love that the villagers are surviving because it could be absolutely terrible without any villagers. Uh, especially if some of them have good traits. Hello. That's a bad deal. That's a, ba that's a good deal, actually. That's a bad deal. That's a good deal. I don't know. I don't like any. Can, can we please get out? Please? Thank you. Jeez. Now, which one's the blacksmith's area? Blacksmith has, has lava. Blacksmith? Oh, this is the blacksmith. Oh! And here's a Tinker's Smeltery. Oh, sweet. Oh, what do we do? Do we just take it? I think we just... We scrap the parts that we want, right? And we definitely want these parts. Because these are what we're waiting on those bricks to make. But that's okay. Uh, we're also going to take... Um... Let's just take everything. Uh, not everything, but mo the most of it. Uh, we'll, we'll leave them with something, I guess. Because they need stuff too. But remember, we're pirates, so it doesn't really matter. We can take whatever we want. Okay, let's go ahead and... Right? Because we brought it down a layer, so they won't be able to pour unless they, they have it down a layer. So let's go ahead and just... Like nothing happened. There we go. No problem. Let's go ahead and take these, uh, nobody's looking. Yeah, furnaces. Just pirates, being pirates. Oh, we should have brought those buckets now, I'm mad. Oh, we could have more lava. We'll just go get more lava. We'll, we'll get it if we need it, I guess, right? Okay, let's go ahead and check this chest that's in the in the blacksmith's area. Oh, a, piece, a chest plate, a bread, and an apple. Sweet. So, uh, I believe iron and gold can be re-smelted down in the Tinker Smeltery, so... Hopefully we get some iron out of that. Eight iron. Mm, that'd be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check these other villagers. Make sure they don't have any cool trades. Is anybody here? Hello? I probably should have knocked before running in. But once again, we are pirates. So who's going to stop us, right? I mean, we are we are the, the kings of the sea and about to be the kings of this land. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's a well right here. Hello? Hold on. Is this a road? This is a road. Cool. Hello? How do you get up? Are you okay up there? Are Are you okay up there, sir? I'm gonna go see if he wants to trade. Hello? 
I have come to only see if you want to trade, not Aww. save you because I'm a pirate. Okay, ready? What do you got? Aww. What do you got? Oh, it's not even a good trade. Aww. They put you up here on purpose, didn't they? Because you have bad trades. Oh, well, that looks out of place, Aww. but that's okay. Just go ahead and... Actually, you know what? It's going to bother me if we don't fix it, so Aww. let's just go ahead and... Here we go. I'm okay with stealing things, but making things look out of place is just not my deal, you guys. Uh. This is the one that I smashed the window and then looked at everything, right? Yeah, it is. Awesome. Okay. Well, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to take some of that stuff, obviously. I also want to. I think we're gonna take a few things from this house. I mean, borrow permanently, because I think they have two of these houses in here anyway. Uh, yeah, you go. You can go ahead and leave if you want. I'm just going to take your things, so. Okay, let's go. Just get this. Get this. Because who wants to make this stuff, right? I mean, we'll just, we'll just get it from here. Oh, oh. I dropped some stuff, I guess. Sorry. Just take all this. No problem. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Yeah, you're welcome for freeing you from your house. Um... There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and run back home. One second. Home is... Yep, home is that way. Okay, I'll, I'll cut when we get there. Ooh, this is very interesting, actually. This is where we died before. But that's not what's interesting. What's interesting is the, is the, the ground that it leaves after those lucky blocks leave. Uh, I don't know what we'd use it for yet, but it could come in handy. So we'll, we'll keep that in mind. Sorry, back to tra traveling home. Okay, so now that we are home, we are going to first place down those other furnaces we acquired in a totally cool fashion that nobody's going to miss. Um, and we'll take up all these seared bricks. Now we have quite a few, actually. It's very good. Um, we will get rid of the things that we no longer need, like the chest plate and... Um, all these pieces, but we're going to want to keep like quite a bit of this stuff. Do we have food somewhere like specifically? Yeah, we do. Good. Bread. Nice. Okay. And then we will, um, take all this stuff as well because these are all things that we are going to need. Got a lot more seared bricks, which is awesome. We need to do the math. Oops. Sorry. I ran right away from my crafting table. So we have... An extra basin and a casting table, so we're going to need two more of these, the faucets, and then we're going to need two more of these. Oop, two more of these, which is the smeltery drains. Now, I want to set this up downstairs just so it's nice and out of our way, but we'll, we'll know it's here, I promise. So let's go ahead and set this up. I'm going to try to use the minimum amount of blocks, or the minimum. Actually, you know, I don't want to set it up here. I just thought about I just thought about like what it's gonna look like, and I actually want to set it kind of away from the wall. Um, I'm thinking I just don't want to fall in that hole either. What about like here? So that we, yeah, it's it's pretty far away from the wall. It's still got some room to to work on, so we can have more taps and more places if we want to do like a ton of iron all at once. Um, you never really know. So let's go ahead and lay down the base of this, and then we will go ahead and set this guy up. So there are our walls, and now what we're going to want is our drains. We want to decide where our drains are going to be. So I usually like to do two on the front, and then I'll do one in the middle on the side there. Let's go ahead and add our faucets to those as well. Nice. And then we'll put our controller in the middle here, and our tank should do fine right here. Actually, I I kind of want the tank next to the controller. So what if we swap the position of these? Right, so that the tank is right next to the controller and then our tap will be here. I believe this will work. And then on the other side... Just like this. 
hopefully hopefully the taps work that way. I believe I remember them they, them doing so. But um can't be sure now we'll put the basins here and here because then they stick out nice and then we'll put the table here. Let's go ahead and work these guys up a little bit more now. We'll need to make more of the actual bricks. I don't know how many more, so I don't want to make all of those, but we want to make a considerable amount. And we will follow this all the way up to the ceiling because I don't think it's super important that we can see in. Um, it may be just to show the process, so I will be creating something that will allow us to do so. Um, over on this side here, so right here, um, we're gonna go need to craft a few more. That's very, very scary. It's a good thing we put water down there because then maybe we can save it. But that's a little risky for me. We'll, we'll figure something out. Up, oh, we'll figure something out that will uh, hopefully keep us alive from and prevent us from falling in there. So let's go ahead and take mm -hmm. our sand. Uh, we actually had a few pieces, but I want a few more than that. I'll take nine pieces of sand. We'll go ahead and cook them up real quick. Uh, we'll only cook eight, I guess, because that's how much coal we have left. Here we go. Now we can cook a lot more. Awesome. Now, this sand is going to be used to make clear uh, walls. Actually, it's turning nighttime, so let's go ahead and grab some Zs while we wait on that sand to, to smelt itself. Nice. Okay. Okay. We are going to grab everything we don't need, so we don't need this guy or or this guy. Um, we'll see if those work in the smeltery. But let's go ahead and look if we have any more iron with us today. Uh, I don't want to put more berry in. Okay, so no, we don't. We need to go. We need to go find some iron as soon as possible, so we can start uh, working some some ores into the smeltery. Oh, you know what we need? I didn't even think about this. We need our buckets of lava. But first, we need those pieces of glass. But we'll grab the buckets of lava for when we do need them. There we go. And then, let's see how many this will make. I'm pretty sure we need a few more, but we'll see. There should be a line here, and then on both sides should be seared bricks. Right, yeah, and there we get the seared windows, but we want more than just two we want three so we'll go ahead and wait on one more two more pieces of glass there we go let's go ahead and run over and make those like this and like this nice so now we have three seared windows come on back down here one two three and because this does not look very good we'll go ahead and throw this guy under here just so it has a little bit more continuity, you know, with the whole basin. Now let's go ahead and take out our lava buckets. Remember I said we could always add another tank on top of that if we need to. We'll just right-click the lava buckets in, right? And you can take them out and add them as you please. And then it will tell us exactly how much fuel we have. And then I believe we can put the chest plates into here. And we will slowly see these tick bars go up as they start to heat up and melt back down. And if we actually take a look in the side window, you can see the two blocks of iron representing exactly how much is going to be melted down uh, into the smeltery. And then what we're going to do while we wait for those to actually heat up and drop, we are going to grab these. And then there's one more thing we need. We'll just search it real quick. Oh, well, that didn't help. Okay. Uh, I believe it is just a chest that goes next to the all these oh it's the pattern chest yeah wow, wow that has a different texture than it usually has okay here we're gonna have the tool station tool station is that and then the part builder usually goes the part builder usually goes first, next to the tool station, I believe. So let's go ahead and pick this guy back up. Or the pattern chest, right? Tool station, stencil table. Okay, so stencil table goes next to this. Apparently it had a tool rod pattern in it. News to me. Uh, crafting station can just go first. 
We'll do pattern chest and we'll do this. And then so what we can do is we need we can make the stencils and then we'll drop the stencils into this guy right here, I think. And then using those stencils, we can actually build the parts with the stencil. So you put what you do is you put the stencil in here. And then you put whatever you want to build that out of. I don't know if this will work. No. Uh, it'll work with like bone and stuff. And it looks like it carried a bunch of these hand guards and stuff over from the town. So that's very cool too. Uh, let's go ahead and look. Oh, and it's melted. So now if we look at the side window here, we can see the melted iron. And that iron can be put back into a few things. But what we're going to want to do is, I don't know if the sear bricks actually work on here. They do. Okay, so we're going to want to uh, get some gold and we're going to want to melt it onto here. So that we can have a cast for bars, but we can't do that quite yet because we don't have gold. But what we can do is we can make our first iron block now. We can watch that fill up by right-clicking the faucet. And we'll just watch it pour in the basin. And then once it pours in the basin, it does take a few seconds to cool. Uh, it should not take very long, though. And there we go. And then you can just right-click that and you get your block of iron. And then you can put that back in and boom we have nine pieces of iron and we pulled that from the that chest plate we we got two chest plates so we had a total of 16 pieces of iron so if we tried to make another block it wouldn't work right now but yeah we got a ton of uh extra iron actually we'll throw the sword in there um and then we'll we should have it a full block uh, another full block in there uh, see because it tells us it has seven ingots when we hover over it and when it melts down that sword it'll have nine again hopefully and uh, we will have another enough for for a full block of iron. Um, okay, you guys. So that is all I would like to show you this episode of Pixel Pirate. I know it wasn't super exciting. Um, I want to know down in the comment section below. Do you guys want to see me go mining, or do you guys just want want to want to assume that I went mining and I can show you the the rewards? Obviously, I will go mining because. Half of the fun is be finding resources and using them to the best of our ability, so there would be no point in cheating them in. Um, yeah, but let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the uh, this episode of Pixel Pirate, please remember to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I hope you all have a great day today, because remember, um, if you want to try something new, just put your mind to it and do your best. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? I mean you do poorly and then what you're back at square one right where you are right now yeah so just keep that in mind just a little helpful words of advice see you guys later